Oliver. Does this bracelet work with the outfit? Why are you asking me? I was hoping for a compliment. What, like I should know fashion? Like you would notice if I look good, not like I think you're gay. I gotta go. Fish, wait. I, I thought this was going somewhere. I like you, okay? And I said a wrong and stupid thing. And I'm sorry. Can't we forget it? Good job hunting. Yep. Hospital won't take you back. Yeah, and if I don't find something soon, I'm gonna have to drop out of medical school. Well, I hear Landview PD is looking for a few good men. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't ask, don't tell. No, thanks. Not mad at you, Layla, okay? I just don't like when people say things about me that aren't true. I know, you're right, and I'm sorry. <sighs> this is so typical of me. I meet a man who treats me like a lady, and I ask him if he's gay. No wonder I'm single. No, it's okay. Just you know, stop beating yourself up about it. You forgive me then? You don't hate me? Of course I don't hate you. Far from it. I gotta get to the cop shop. I'll see you at work. Are you sure we're all good? Yes. That's the big secret. Fish is gay. Don't ask, don't tell. Is that the trouble that you're having with Officer Hunk? Oliver's parents are really conservative, so he'd be dead to them if they knew. Plus, he always wanted to be a cop. You know, that's a tough crowd. So Fish is hiding in plain sight. And you know what? That don't work. The one thing I know in life, you gotta be yourself. You gotta let your freak flag fly. Anything else is like a bad wig. Ugly, itchy, and fooling nobody. Well, obviously Oliver made his choice, and it's not me. Here's the deal, Kyle. I float you on the hotel until you get a job, and then when you get one, you pay me rent just like everybody else. Thanks, Roxy. You're like... The only person who's even been decent to me. Yeah, well, I really don't know why. Obviously, I don't take blackmail too personally. At least in the end, everything turned out okay for my kids. I'll be right back. Whoa, look at the devil. Excuse me? You no, know, you're a little rough on your friend over there. Why don't you give him another chance? By the way, he's crazy about you. We need to talk in private, right now. I can't believe you were eavesdropping. What? I live here. I was walking through. I, I couldn't help it. So, is that what I walked in on the other night? What? When you were having it out with Fish. We weren't fighting or anything. Something happened, and I jumped to the wrong conclusion. That he's gay? But he's not. It was a total misunderstanding. Okay. We talked it out, and everything's fine. Sure. I have to get ready for work. Whatever you think you know about me, it was a long time ago. I'm not that guy anymore. He was with Kyle. Fish cared more about what people thought about him than he cared about who he was with. See you later. Layla, wait. Um, you got a minute? There's something I, I think you should know. What the hell did you tell Roxy? Nothing! What, since when did she become your pal? Why do you care? What did you tell her, Kyle? Roxy's not gonna say anything, Oliver. Well, you told her that, that we... We, what? You can't even say it, can you? We were lovers, okay? I loved you. I still do. Didn't you get my letter? Yeah. Well, did you read it? Did you, Kyle? Oliver, the letter was a joke. No, I meant every word. It doesn't make it true. You can't just decide you're not gay anymore. I never was. Then what do you call what we were in college? It was just a phase, a bad experiment. Some shrink tell you that? No, 
I didn't get anybody to help me figure it out. Uh, no deprogramming, no washing the gay away. Oh, come on, I told you. Right, yeah, I get it. You're not gay. I know who I am. Do you? Yeah, I'm with Layla now. It's a nice girl. She knows she's your beard. <sighs> Is this about Oliver? Yeah. I don't have time for this. Wait, 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 why not? I mean, don't you care about the guy? That's why I don't want to hear accusations. Accusations? You told me that I was only attracted to men who jerked me around. You were the one that said Oliver was the kind of guy that I should go for because he'd treat me right. Now you want to tear him down? Wait, why would I want to do that? I don't know. You tell me. Lena, I care about you, okay? You're my roommate. You're my friend. I'm just trying to keep you from getting hurt, that's all. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. I gotta go. So wait, now, now you're mad at me? I'm mad at myself for putting a stupid thought out there. I looked for a guy like Fish my entire life. He's smart, funny, and he's got integrity. And you deserve all that. I just hope I haven't blown it. Layla Williamson? That's me. Sign here. Thanks. Glad we made up. Love, Oliver. Hey, Ross, you see my mom? Mm. No, not this morning. Bobby! Uh, she's probably outside dealing with the delivery truck. No, I don't think so. I think the alleyway is otherwise engaged. Officer Fish and Kyle are having a private conversation. Man, I'm sorry if you're disappointed. I thought you were braver than this. More honest. Oh, come on. You want to talk about honesty? You're a blackmailer, probably a thief. Who knows what else? Yeah, I took some dumb chances, okay? But I never lied about who I am. I'm a cop. A gay cop. No. In a place that makes that kind of tough. I get no, that. No, I'm not gay. I have a girlfriend. Why are you doing this to yourself? Because I would lose everything. Or you get yourself back, Oliver. Your life. Not anybody else's. No, I like where I am. Do you? Lie into your parents? Lie into that girl? I'm gonna ask you one more time to leave me alone if you don't. What? What? Are you gonna hit me? It wasn't a bad experiment, Oliver. It meant something. We meant something. And I know you. I know you remember.